Hello everybody. We just got out of the teens over here. There's a light, light, little bitty light snow coming down. It's very teeny tiny. I doubt you can see it, but yeah, I don't think you can pick it up. Yeah, we got cold southern weather here. I'm sure you northern people are frozen like ice balls in. Yeah. You can see kind of a little bit of snow in the areas accumulating now. Eee, little snowflake falling. But uh we got lucky. Uh we didn't get near as much ice over here yesterday fall. It mostly came down as rain and before it turned over to ice, it pretty much drained off. So that was really nice. I don't know, we might have lost a lot of plants, so this camellia looks terrible. All of them look really bad. When you like you can look at my wife's car and see the little bitty tiny tiniest of snowflakes hitting it. Let's see. It doesn't really focus in on them. Too well. See the tiny snowflakes. Anyway. Sweet olives might make it. They don't look like they're frozen down to the bottom. I just know we're gonna lose a lot. That's the lemon tree I'm trying to save. Lemons don't do well with this kind of cold. Uh, the little greenhouse, it, it, I had a light in it and it stayed warm enough to save most of the stuff but I noticed I lost a couple little tomato plants on the end so that's okay I always make more than what I need uh, yeah they did they did fine as you see, like right, these were up against the wall, you could see, and these were up against the wall, you could see that last row froze. So, anything that was away from where the light was, pretty much didn't do too well. So, and I took some other things inside that I wanted to take care of, but these look like they're doing alright now. We still got four more days of hellish weather for us coming and I know everybody else does but we got lucky cuz uh I took yesterday and today off to stay around here to make sure if the gen if the generator was needed I'd be able to bring it I'd bring it in in here and run it in here while all that nasty weather was going on and uh My wife, she doesn't know how to really even operate that thing, much less get it inside this or anything like that. But out of all this area, we're like the only few who haven't lost power. I hear someone over there saying something. It's starting to snow a little bit harder. You can't see it though. It's still, it's tiny, see tiny. I didn't think we were going to get any more precipitation or anything like that today I didn't. that's all towels around the water supply and I got heat on the inside hitting it and I got the wood burning stove going now so I can uh well I thought I had it going yeah, it's smoky in here. It doesn't work that great. I had this heater on my well pump here. That light provides some. Yeah, it's... Ooh, when you open it, all kind of smoke gets out. Yeah, it's gone. All right. 
once it rolls you can shut that door but until then so what I was gonna kind of tell y'all was you know I, I tried to uh, film this the other day and give an explanation of why I uh, haven't produced a video in a while it's kind of uh, twofold I guess mostly upset at the way social media outlets YouTube included you know of course they're one have been treating the general public like with children and they they are the masters or something to that effect and I I don't I didn't like providing even my limited very limited amount of content that's viewed it's not I'm surely not a master YouTube provider content provider but it made me mad that I was being a part of a system that that did this that that did this to other people even and some of my favorite channels seemed like they were muzzled and what they could say and the reason I would listen to them in the past is to hear those things they could say that's how that dirt does when it freezes it grows out of the ground that ice grows out of the ground um so I remember that from when I was a young kid deer hunting we used to see cold weather like this back then but anyway I was upset with YouTube for that and I said you know I'm just not going to participate anymore and then I realized uh I didn't originally this isn't even frozen it's gonna freeze by tomorrow though it's just getting colder and colder so I realized what I had originally started doing my channel was uh, for me but no one else and it it, it kind of shows in, in my viewership because I don't really make videos that the style of videos that people on YouTube care for and uh, they're too long I yip yap too much but I do have a few people that actually seem to care about my videos and what I say sometimes outside of my immediate family and stuff that you know I'll do this stuff for uh, so later on they can have a, a record if they ever want to go back and see but anyway that's froze hey compost pops froze so anyway, that's that's the main reason I had shut down operations for shut down operations for a while. And then uh secondly is well I just don't have viewership. And that's not a good reason for me because I was doing this for myself. So it's kinda yeah, I go with those kind of the oxymorons of how I do things. I say one thing and do another, or say one thing and mean another. I don't know. But it just seemed like I was trying to show things that I really didn't need to to show. Just for the sake of trying to maybe get a few extra views. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do what I... I, I mean, it probably won't be much of a change because I really didn't go overboard. But I just... I want, I want to continue for the sake of having the records... And I can do that on my own computer, but it's nice to have them all like how YouTube's, uh, how they're, they're, they're pattern that, how, I don't know what you call it, their, their programming is, how, how it, how it is viewable. It's still very user friendly. It's the easiest place to view videos. And it's still the easiest place to make and upload videos to me. I don't know. I haven't really tried any of the other people, but, uh. I just know when I watch other videos, they don't have the functions and the access that I seem to get on YouTube. So, I'm going to start putting up videos again, and I'm going to start doing that a little bit more and see how it works. Uh, not that I think anybody's going to watch this and really care too much. Or it's going to make any difference in anybody else's life. But I'm just saying it. So if anybody was like, why he 
gave up. Well, I guess I did, but I don't know. The potatoes. I don't think they made it. Carrots all down. Who knows what's going to make it. Beets look like they're doing not too bad. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You can see a little snowflake every now and then fall. Little birds. They trying to find shelter, I guess. A little warm place. Hmm. Got a lot of little seeds right there. That's what it is. On those, uh, <laughs> on those weeds. Great. She'll be dispersing them. But anyway, uh, that's, that's, my story uh, about why I've been out of this for a while. I'm not, I've been making videos for the past, like, well, I got some old videos that I had that I never put before that I was waiting for some time to pass to put them out. And then I made some last week saying I'm going to start back up again. So I might, I might have a few videos to put out. But, uh, as far as, uh, I won't be able to put these up for about another week or so before I start so y'all won't see this that's already y'all y'all will remember everybody will remember when all this cold weather was hitting us my bok joy oh I wonder if it'll make it it'll be interesting to see won't it well that's all about all I had for today I did I really didn't want to do much today except for try and keep things in order around here I don't I had you can see the little ghost in the yard trying to protect some citrus trees I don't think I'm gonna let the chickens out I don't know I'm thinking about it we've been having a hawk that's picking them off one by one I don't like that uh, you know something eats my stuff it's gonna go away forever and I haven't had that opportunity to uh, entice it to run away forever lately. I think what I'll do is I'll just let them out and run, maybe. That'll be all right. They need to stretch their legs. Uh, I changed the hay out the other day. I still need to clean those uh, inside the coop runs. probably frozen I like to let them get in here well they eating that ice they don't they think that's food <laughs> slipping <laughs> That ice, that water is ice. Uh, I might have to let them out so they can get to that other water. I hate to do that, but maybe I'll do it. You know what? I got some another two waterers. I'll put them out later. All right, y'all. I really don't have much to say, so. I hope y'all are making it through this cold patch. We got fortunate, but I know a lot of, I hear, I'm hearing horror stories about people who are lights out right now. I couldn't imagine having to have the kind of 
ice at Texas and Oklahoma and Nebraska and Kansas and Iowa and all of, all y'all up north had with no power. Jeez. And then the, the stories about what they're getting ready to do with the electric bills? Oh, God almighty, help people. People are going to be, it's going to be a war because of that. If they go through what they say saying, they're going to do with electric bills. And I'm talking about raising them uh, many, many hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. So hopefully that's just conspiracy theory of talk. But lately all conspiracy theory has been coming true. So anyway, I'm going to go on that. Goodbye, y'all.